Guys, today we are at the Meat Hook. We use Hawks and Trotters in only a couple of ways. Trotters, we mostly just sell to ramen shops, and Hawks, we smoke mostly for soups. Hawk, shank, same thing. So today we're going to Fish Cheeks. We are going to have a pork shank stew cooked in Diet Coke. Why wouldn't you do that? I don't know, it sounds delicious and refreshing. Yeah. Let's go. What are we making today? We're making khao khao mu. It's pork leg stew over rice. Traditional Thai dish? Sort of traditional. It's been around for a long time. Kin dai to one. Kikin dai boy. So you can eat it every day. If you're in Thailand, like you can eat this like once a week, and he usually does. It is just like pretty much a party. It was like pizza. It's a very ubiquitous. Yes. What are the steps we're gonna need to take to make this dish happen? Who said good on grill? Oh, oh yeah, I'll do grill. Okay. Why are we grilling something that we're gonna stew? Grilling it will burn off the hair and actually tighten the skin. Gotcha. Oh, that is really hot. That's already making a little dent there. Ooh. Why these pieces of pork for the dish? Why the, why the trotters and the hawks? So the feet has tendon and has like other parts, you know, cartilage and stuff like that. Some people prefer that sort of texture rather than just straight up meat. So you get all the gelatin, but you also get the texture difference of... Yeah, it's like a bit of a sell to get, you know, people to try something that has real texture to right. it. You're like, this isn't tender, right. but it's delicious. I mean, they already look like they're gonna taste good. All right, so we're gonna wok roast all of the seasonings. Mm -hmm. Crushed garlic, cilantro stems, darnies, Chinese yam, cinnamon. Everyone has their own little recipe or little twist that they think, oh, this is gonna make it into like an amazing dish or something like that. Yeah, so everyone in Thailand is making this dish and they're just kind of like, whatever they're like, how they make it special to right. them is how right. they how yeah. they make it. Yeah. We already have savory with the pork. We have all the floral elements, and we have sweetness from the sugar. We're gonna put that coal. Why diet? Because there's already palm sugar. Oh, uh, okay. This took a real strong left turn when we introduced diet coke. Now I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know where we're going anymore. All right. It smells so good. So what are we pulling out? So you throw in the Chinese broccoli okay. and the hard boiled egg at the end. Yummy. This is mine. Yep, yep. That's you? <laughs> That's yours? Oh my god, the color on that. It smells so, so good. Yeah, all the all those spices that you that you toasted earlier, like they didn't die down at all. It's, so many aromas coming off of this. So that's pickled mustard green. Pickled mustard green, awesome. So we're really like now with everything else, like we started with sweet from the palm sugar and savory from the pork and all of those aromatics. So we're like, now we're bringing in sour. We're really kind of building, right. building this out. Okay, dig in. Oh, <laughs> thank you. There you go, go ahead. Oh man, I'll cook pork cocks at home, and I love picking them apart, but I've never thought about just making it its own dish. So cool. Can you try this? No. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. Yeah. I'm glad you guys so like it. So good. I want to talk about the stock. Diet Coke stock. Yeah. <laughs> it's so freaking good. I mean, it's worth mentioning that it is really sweet, mm -hmm. um, but sweet in a good way. And also something that we usually never never cook with, but the sweet and super spicy right. works really well together. It kind of like falls into like the five flavors that like Thai people usually use. The saltiness, the sweetness, the citrus, the bitter and umami, right? I feel like you can probably find this in all the flavors in, in this dish. You've really opened up, I think, at least my thinking on like what we can and probably should be doing with some of these parts that I just haven't done before because I'm American, so like split pea soup with like a smoked trotter is like, that's what right. 
my family is done. Right. Yeah. But this is way more interesting and way more flavorful, and I think it utilizes it in a much better way. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's so cool. Ben's right. It's like the only way that we really sell hawks is for people to put in soup. Like, that's really the only access point that, like, we have. Also, kind of the, the passive cooking aspect, grill it and let this master stock kind of do, do its own thing. Then you can turn it into whatever type of, like, dish or salad or soup that you want to. Like, I feel kind of stupid for just not thinking of this stuff before, but it's like a whole new, uh, whole new horizon. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for showing us how to make this dish. It's incredible. I'm so impressed and I just need to, I'm still trying to find the words. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's such a great dish. That's really such a excited. Compliment. Thank you so yeah, much. But I could definitely eat this every day. Yeah, I, uh, I see why you eat this once a week. Yeah. yeah.